What a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> Sunday. Ah, oh, beautiful flowers. You need to see these flowers. Let me show you. <clears throat> Hello, dear friends. Good morning or afternoon. This is uh, afternoon. This is uh, such a, a beautiful, beautiful morning. If you can hear me, give me a sum up so that uh, we can chat and uh, <clears throat> I am waiting for the I am waiting for the sum up good good okay and uh, here is uh, what I want to say if I do not wear glasses is that I am not reading the comments and it is very beautiful here you put the question, you can put the question with super chat or you can put question multiple times sometimes. And uh, um, a lot of time I realize that I cannot answer, not in a rush, a lot of things, a lot of time, things out of control. and. Uh, this video chat, one day later, it becomes uh, visible. I can see what has discussed. <laughs> Sometimes it's so interesting, it becomes quite heated. Anyway, it's a, a relaxing time. And uh, we talk about something that relate to our life only. No need to make it too serious, right? such a beautiful day you need to see in front of my eyes and this is a, a neighborhood another city's park and i have passed by here many times but i have never been inside so today i decide just to spend some time and uh, reflect on something also, I have a video request. It's a paid service. You, uh, some friends make a, a question or something, and I came here to be quiet and make a video. So here it is. I want to use today's time to talk about relationship. I find that this is something not only about men, woman, 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 men, men, or relationship, woman, pet, men, pet, ourself with pet. It's uh, through this topic very much talk about our taking care of ourselves and be independent, be able to live our life without anyone, without anything, something like it. Okay, now let's bring it up. Hello, dear friends, pa but passed many times. Let's see. <laughs> you can put things in and I will start to see. This is very, very peaceful. And uh, to hear you speaking lovely richness words of wisdom to our heart and uh, that's an, uh, a very kind statement beautiful sunday okay there is not yet very much uh, questions and doubts we use this time to talk about relationships taking a pause on relationship and uh, take care of ourselves Okay, so today in Yahoo News, just open up the internet, there is one, uh, one article about, uh, about relationship. It's called, to be confirmed, <laughs> yes, and uh, in this article is about uh, living away together. There was this lady, her picture, and she lives separately with her long-term partner. 
and uh, she has her own apartment, he has his own place. They are keeping their long-term relationship but not living together. And uh, I think this is a way of life, no matter it's your choice or not your choice. I feel that give ourselves a pause on problem, give ourselves the care we deserve by being independent, by living an independent life, by being just be ourselves and live a complete life is not not caring about about another person. It's not any less of love to the other person. When we are complete, when we are happy, when we are not projecting our sorrow, our anxiety, our stress, our anger, our problem to other person, this is the best care, this is the best gift, this is the best love we can give to another person. So I think sometimes, uh, I think sometimes that uh, uh, you, you distance yourself from other things will be good. How do you survive a summer without car? Summer, there are many ways to enjoy summer. If you have the financial means, rent a car. My car is in garage now. I am experiencing exactly the same thing, exactly the same thing. I do not have car to go every day as I want. It's temporary. After some time, I will be back. But only just this time, how I do it. I take a walk. I take a walk in my neighborhood. And if, because I am on vacation, so I relatively have time. So I go to my grocery shopping, and uh, I take a walk there, I walk there. It's something like a uh, five to 10 minutes walk. And then I listen to audio book. And I think it's, it's a, listen to audio book, listen to talks, listen to music. And I feel it actually enriched a lot of my time, a lot of my being. I cannot read my eyes. Reading things is becoming very painful as we age. And uh, listening to books or listening to information is my source of, uh, of learning. So this is very, very good. And uh, I also have a bike if I need to go to further place. I think 10 mile distance biking you can you can bike in 10 miles come back 20 miles or 10 miles that is very doable and uh, within this radius there is a lot of fun things it's because we are thinking about other place too much we are thinking about other people enjoying Paris, enjoying Rome, enjoying a road trip to San Francisco, Los Angeles. It's still people living their life no matter where. So you can discover these beautiful parks. And this is, <laughs> I, today I drove my son's car. And this is, uh, um, this is about two or three miles. I can totally bike here because I have some equipment, tripod, something. But later on, I will bike here, right? Does it answer your question? Use your bike and see the close by things and enjoy the close by flowers and, uh, and read book and do other things. Do I answer your question? Does it make any sense? <laughs> Do not compare with people who travel to, to different places. 
put your bar down because our condition is different. Our condition is down. We put our bar down, right? <laughs> okay, let's see any others. What advice can you give for surviving being in a long distance relationship one, until we can be together in person? If you are separate and if it is a sustainable separate relationship, then use this time to improve yourself. I had a long distance relationship with my husband for one year in China, one year in, yeah, we were, I had and survived. Nobody said it can survive. All my friends said it cannot survive. And their logic is that my friend said exactly the same word. And he mentioned my husband's name and said, well, <clears throat> anyway, the thing is that there is another person, your loved one. He wanted to drink a cup of uh, Coke and he does not have Coke and he's thirsty. He will drink a cup of water. He will drink something else, right? And they say it will not sustain because of uh, if he needs. But if you are so strong, if he loves you enough, he does not even need that cup of water. He does not need that uh, cup of Coke. Can you make sure he does not need it? If so so that's the, 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 the part is because he needs it. Can you make him not need it? Maybe he just does not need that cup of Coke, right? It's another thing. If he is not that strong, there's nothing you can do about it. Coke is not there. Pepsi is there. And uh, Sprite is there. Water is there. Tea is there. Because he has this need. The important thing, he does not have this need. If he's uh, a very, very much rich, enriched himself, he does not need it. So, at the end of the day, it depends on who you have chosen. You have a chosen, if you have chosen a, a person who loves you so much and thinks you the most important, you do not need to worry. You do not need to worry because worry does not help. Do I make any sense? If he himself is this roughy person, he or she is a roughy person. If a, a slippery person, there is nothing you can do. Know who you have choose and be confident with it. There is only one thing you can care about and you can control. It's your own self. Make sure you are a good person. Make sure you live a full life. Make sure you are so desirable. Make sure you are so good. You are pretty, you are smart, you are kind, you are generous, you are comfortable. Whichever way, you are just so good. He wanted you, she wanted you. That's the only thing you can do. Live your life to the fullest. And also, this is the time that you can live a life better than having another person. What I believe, when you live with another person, when you are together all the time, you see the beauty of this person and you see a lot of lousiness of this person. It's, it's just, sometimes it's even just unbearable. But when you live separately, you do not see his undesirable part. You live your dream life. 
kind of artificial. That period of time, you are actually living a better quality spiritual life. We are not talking about how sustainable it is. We are just talking about pure yourself. You are living a more loving life. There is one, uh, one, uh, one story, um, Zweig, letter from an unknown woman. I love you. You love me or not, does not even matter. So beautiful. So beautiful. Love is beautiful. The active action of loving someone is even more beautiful than being loved. Being loved is a passive act. You actively loving, use your heart and soul. You are a beautiful person. Do I make any sense? <laughs> How to deal with unnecessary money loss and get over the fact you spend or waste money before? That's the that is a lesson. Unnecessary money loss and get over the fact. Are you still alive? Are you still healthy? Are you still breathing? Are you still living? It's the money you need to pay for today's happiness. It's the money you need to pay to, to get over it. I remember there was one time I have, you all know, I have these two, um, two pepper uh, a meal. One is salt, one is pepper, and another one I put sometimes uh, um, mustard seed, sometimes I, I put some cumin seed, and then everyone asked what it is inside. And I explained, there was one time I said, who can guess it? I, I give $100. And then there was one person really guessed it right. He guessed half of it right. And uh, I was thinking, oh my goodness, just one sentence. Should I give this $100? My friend said, $100. You will not go broke with this $100. It's okay. So I paid. We become good friends. And I honored my decision. And um, it's small. You can... If, if you have lost it and still you are living a happy life because it's not important, because it's a lesson, you can be, become smarter, because you are paying it to buy the future good karma. Do I explain? Do you accept this mindset? What about the feeling of revenge? If you have the feeling of revenge, you have not yet get over it. There was one person treat another person so wrong, so wrong. And I know this person who, the person is a she. And the being wrongly treated is a he. So you can know the difference because I do not want to say the name. And the person, she has treated him so wrong. And then everyone surrounding saying to her, you are treating him so wrong. And they say it to me that she has treated the, the, the boy so wrong. One day I asked this boy, did you remember that thing that she has treated you so wrong? You know the boy, how did he revenge? Guess it. How did he revenge? The boy being treated so wrong. Let's say, okay, he made everything wrong, uh, everything right, and he give, she gave him a, a very bad F mark or something. How did he revenge?
how did he revenge? He told me, what is that? I forgot it. I did not even remember. That's the best revenge. He's living such a good life, a better life, and all those are already, it's so petit, it's so small, and all those means does not even have a dent in his future life. That's the winning, that's the true winning. You do not give revenge. When you put your hand on something to hurt another people, to revenge another person, you are dirtying your own hands. Don't do it. Heaven do it. Heaven do it rightly, fairly, without even dirtying your hand. Do not wish any bad of another person heaven will put it right. You do not see it right because it's too short. Revenge, karma, all those bad things will pay back in his life, in future life. Forget about it. Do not, do not keep your hand clean. This is more important. Keep your hand clean. Keep your soul clean. You will have, heaven will have even stronger revenge. It's kind of a mean thought, but that's how this world, in my world, works. Do I make any sense? How to get over a man who never cared for you? Do not care about him. If a person do not care about you, just do not care about him. The process is hard <laughs> because there is something, he's so good looking, he's so smart, he's so this and that. It's not yours. It's not yours. Yeah. Grow up, understand this is not yours. This is not yours. What can I do if I'm very expressive and enthusiastic and I feel that I give a lot and feel people around me do not reciprocate? Oh, <clears throat> you are too passionate and the world is not as passionate as you. So there may be something um, <clears throat> you are not distinguishing the word. You are not, uh, you are not, uh, it's about uh, emotional intelligence. Does it make sense? I have it also. Sometimes I am so enthusiastic about something. Other people do not feel the same. We cannot put ourselves into other people's. I cannot understand why people are so enthusiastic about Super Bowl, and there are people throwing bottles to the enemy, to, to the, uh, the other team, and they, it's just because they are too enthusiastic and lost the moral value, lost. And what I am saying about you in this situation, you are still in the right moral value just in, not in the same way as other people. One way, accept yourself is the odd person. You are an odd person and accept it and just understand I am different from others. Second way, try to understand other people. They have their interest. They have their interest that is totally odd to you. When you can think both ways, it becomes comfortable. Just if we cannot, not yet to the level of empathize with other person, at least understand I am the odd one. Nobody here making a video. I am here making a video. I am an odd one. 
if people laughing at me, I accept the consequence of my action because I am doing something bizarre out of the normal standard, the normal norm. Do I make any sense? I am in an existential crisis, existential crisis. I'm so lost and stuck. I have an associate in science, but I still don't know what I want to do. I love to be creative, but I don't know what to do in that field too. Okay, so the problem, if we have existential Existential problem. So the first thing to exist, to put your feet, step your feet. Step your feet on the ground. Do the thing you need to do, you want to do. If you want to do creative job, start your very first creative job. If it is a wood carving, today go to wood shop. Today go to the trees to get the go, go to the wood, get some branch, start to do things. Do not ruminate. Start from very simple things. Or maybe just clean up the room. Maybe because you have too many things. Science degree will help you later on. All your knowledge, there is nothing wasted. What you get as a degree and what you do can be totally different. But that part of knowledge the scientific method, the scientific logical thinking will later on help you in you to make a better website, to make a better podcast, a better uh, influencer job, better painting, better movie making. It will help you start right here, right now, doing things. If you are still here, not going to do your things, then start to criticize my words and think how you can do a better podcast than me, for example, or how you can do something, right? Start to think. Instead of thinking about the pain, but thinking a real thing, you are going to start. Do I make any sense? Okay, my parents and I have different communication style. She's my partner. She is very shut down to her emotion and it's difficult for me. I have only been dating five months. Am I expecting too much or so? Okay, if this person is a different person, accept it is different. Myself is different, very different from my partner, from my husband, <laughs> from my own children. Accept who they are. If that is the way he communicates, he does not, she does not want to speak out too much. She does not want to show off too much. Then she has her way. If she has lived until the age who can communicate with you, who can be your partner, she, uh, she is at least adult or coming to an age to this world for some time. So she has survived and becoming a person who you love, you admire. There must be a reason. Find her way, accept her way, and, uh, and uh, maybe a discuss and maybe make a, a time schedule. This week, you do not talk to me. Totally no problem. I will not bother you. How about you send me a picture of what you are doing? How about uh, give me a Friday evening, we have a, a 10 minutes chat. How about next Saturday, when there is nothing, we go to a coffee shop just have a, a 20 minutes talk 
or go to shop, buy something together. Make a very tangible schedule, very tangible. Not every day, but sometime we do something so that you are making your effort. And let know you are making your effort and she will make an effort. If she totally does not make an effort and do not care, that is not that the, that might be just not the right person and you are pouring your heart for the wrong person. I'm sorry to say this, but a lot of time when we are in it, we cannot see people. It needs a grandma with white hair to tell you some harsh things. And this is why you come to my channel. You do not want to listen to another person to say how sweet you are, how successful your life is. You want, <laughs> you are paying your gold time to get criticized. I'm sorry. I love you. I truly love you. This is why I want to tell you the truth, the truth that you cannot see. I haven't been feeling my best in a long time and it has gotten worse the past few days. And I want to ask you how I can deal with a toxic parent since you give out such good advice and energy. A parent, a toxic parent, no matter it's your parent, it's your husband, it's your wife, it's your mom, your dad, whoever. If you understand the energy is not right, come out, come out. Come to see in that chair. Come to see in that chair. Come out to see in that chair. Go out, go out. Get away from that, at least get away from the vicinity of that bad energy, of that toxic energy. The truth is, maybe because you are not in the right mood, maybe because you are having negative energy, toxic energy, you cannot see the beauty of another person. You cannot see the care of another person. So get yourself away from the situation can help and try to understand, still try to understand. Your parent lived life 30 years ago. They were born without internet. They were born without game. They lived a different life. 30 years later, you will see your own children so bizarre. So get away from it. If there is physically get away from it. If you do not have a path to go, go to shop, go to some place with your headset, with your earbud, with something away from that. Out of sight, out of mind, out of uh, sound, out of mind. Do I make any sense? You get ready by focusing on your relationship with yourself. Who said that? That's so beautiful. You get transcendental Tommy, trans transcendental Tommy. Beautiful, beautiful, they said. Is this asking me what is toxic energy to you? Toxic energy. It does not have to be bad, that toxic energy, negative energy, anger, stress, all these that do not serve me to make me happy. And uh, all the medicine are toxic. They cure us. If we use just the right amount, amount of toxicity, toxic, toxicity, we can cure a certain disease, right? It's absolutely okay to be fear, to feel inferior, to, to be angry. Use it. Give yourself the time to digest, to think, and see how to improve and how to, 
how to use it as a medicine to cure some of our particular disease, a particular weakness. Do I make any sense? My boyfriend told me he wanted a break and didn't tell me why. Because he's uh, He is half done with you. If he wants a break, take this opportunity, give yourself a break. Give yourself a break. It is very, very hard. I know it is very hard. I, I, I do experience it. But uh, use this time to appreciate when you do not have uh, your partner, when you do not have your boyfriend, you can leave them, you can eat a meal equally delicious. You can drink a coffee equally delicious. You can read a book equally passionate. You can do it. Why you cannot do it? Because you have not yet decided you want to do it. You decide, today I am eating this meal all by myself with heart with soul, with the appreciation, love for myself. I am better than that dude. He is not worthy me. He's lost. He's lost. Your boyfriend, he's lost. Okay? You cannot fall into love. For you are not above it. You can only fly into it. Oh my goodness, transcendental. You are really transcendented. Beautifully said. Beautifully said. You cannot fall in love. You can fly high. You can... Yeah. Beautifully said. I'm 20 years old and my parents are trying to push me to date, but I feel more comfortable focusing on myself and my education right now. Am I making a right choice by living only for myself? Of course, Supi, of course. Which country are you? Are you in, 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 in some, uh, some country that have arranged marriage? Okay, Supi, tell me, which country are you? Of course, 20 years old. It's way too early. Way, 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 way too early. This is the time you can, you can spend your life wandering around, looking at this man, looking, woman also, looking at this person, looking at that person, looking at the beautiful person, and enjoy your life. Oh, it's too early, 20 years old, it's too early, it's too early. 20 years old, get heartbroken. If you, if you do not, if you can hold yourself until, much older age, you have more experience, you much better. It's too early. You are doing the right thing not to, not to, and especially other people force you, and it's not even you voluntarily, another, another prince or princess jumping in front of you or, or landed in front of you. Of course, don't do that. Your parents, is, they, are, they are not, not the right thing. Okay, I tell you, your parents is not grandma. I am grandma. Okay, I tell you. Uh, I am 33 and just broke up with my ex. I'm 30 and he was, I am 33 and he was. Uh oh, it's your time to, to, to. to cherish your own time. It is hard. Nobody say it's not hard. It is very hard. There is only one thing we can do is to get over it. Let time tell us. How do I cope with social anxiety? It's preventing me from really living my life because I'm afraid of being judged by others and uh, rejected. 
Okay, if you always fear others judging you, do you have something that you are comfortable and confident? You will say, I am comfortable and confident to be at home, stay with myself, in myself, in my little quarter. Perfectly right. Make other place as if you are inside your quarter. For example, you will wear a clothes more comfortable and holding something that gives you this confidence. And uh, oh, there are people passing. And uh, do something that you you are good. There must be something you are good at. You are better than others. Do those things, and slowly you will build up your your uh, inventory of skills, of abilities, of reservoirs of your ability, you are better than others. And start from there, start from the very small point, start to go out. My very first video was very shy. And you just every time, 1%, a little bit better than, than before. Think about what you are good, what you are good at. And if you write a comment, we will go from there, what you can keep on doing. You must have something, you are better than others. I have agoraphobia and it's very difficult. Yes, I can feel a lot of us has it. I see a therapist twice a year. Yes, a lot of us have it. And a lot of time also, it's because we are going to a very uncomfortable situation. One thing, it is our own problem. Nobody say it's not our pro problem. Another thing, I am listening to these uh, podcasts and things. Okay, just understand, our society, the new society now has come to a stage that living independently, living a single life, is absolutely okay. There is nothing wrong. So first, do not feel that you are doing something wrong. You have not yet done something wrong. This is one of the way you have chosen. Second thing, party is a time to waste time. Party a lot of time. There are good parties majority of the time is wasting time. Let's say Oscar. It's not about hard communication. It's about showing no clothes. Gun is about showing clothes. It's, 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 and the bigger the party, the shallow the party. Do I make any sense? Because the real communication, you cannot talk with many people. Now I am talking, I talk with one comment at a time. If I talk with many comments, it goes shallower and shallower. Do you hear me? I do not see any comments. If I talk, with one person, eyes on one person, we can talk in a deeper sense. If you send me a, a message, a question, a video or, or something, I will spend a whole hour making a video about you, about your problem, right? So when there are too many people, too many distractions, majority is a waste of time. Do not feel afraid, ashamed that you cannot talk. And people who talk there is not about, a lot of people, it's not about communicating. It's because to show their beautiful clothes, their figure, their body, it's another, it's another thing, it's another um, 
It's another goal. It's not our goal, right? So avoid those kind of big parties. If you do have a party, have a friend, have a close friend, have a coffee chat, have a um, have a a internet chat, have something that cozy and comfortable that you can really exchange and you say you have a fear of going out i read your comments you are so deep you go to my shop to buy things i know you i know you not in, only in an uh, internet level in a personal level i know it's just because that place is not right it's not your problem do i make any sense. I'm 19, trying to create my own life. I want to move forward and be more viewed as an adult. Perfect, perfect. Yes, so go out, look for a job, go to coffee shop and things, and do the adult thing. If you are staying inside and and uh, feed by parents and, and uh, use money by parents. Of course, you cannot have an independent life. Start to do things, start to, to live out, right? Yes, I see your sum up. I know you, you are a very profound, deep person and you have judgment, that is why. <laughs> you have this responsibility because you are absolutely a deep profound and understanding person and you take care of things <laughs> outstanding it's just that place is not your place it's not it's not anybody's place i love to sing actually people usually enjoy my music i just feel uncomfortable use a skill to make myself feel better what if i start using it as a form of superiority towards others mm. start to sing no matter you use it as a, a form of superiority or use it as a form of communication or use it as a form of self-improvement or self-empowerment go for it use your strengths and also the very first song may be ugly or maybe first song is good maybe some of your songs is just does not sound good that's the way we improve or maybe someone does not like your song it's just you have different style right how do I grow more secure in myself? I feel like it's hard to not feel embarrassed of myself and feel dependent on others' opinion of me being struggled lately. We are not confident because we are not good. And uh, <clears throat> we are not, good. we are confident because we are good. There is always something we are good. If we focus on not good and feel the judge and being judged, it's a vicious cycle. Avoid them. Leave that apart for a moment. If mess is your strength, do more mess. Build up your mess. If, uh, what else? If sports is your weakness, exercise in hidden. Exercise when nobody sees you. Do not show your weakness. Do not yet show your weakness. When you are good, start to show. Avoid putting yourself, putting ourselves into embarrassing situation about speech, about any other things. Do I make sense? Should I go off by myself or should I continue living with my family? I'm turning 18 and I'm tired of living with my family. But if, but I feel that they need me, which make me feel bad. Mm, 
I am the oldest. Okay, the family responsibility. They need you. Maybe they need your money later on. I mean, it's in a not pleasant way to say it. But if you can financially provide them with good housing, with good food, you definitely can go away if you have the ability. So start to improve what they need and see what they need. Do they need you to stay at home, to eat their food, to be with them? Or do they need you to provide food for them later on? So once you understand, it becomes easier. What I say, it is better you start spend more time to go to society to make money to make a living and be strong be independent yourself and give what financially or give give contribute what you need to contribute to do i make any sense I recently found my true self and realized my friendship were meaningless and toxic. I am now very lonely. How do I make new meaningful connection? The first meaningful connection is with yourself. When you are happy, when you are radiating positive energy, those you just become a magnet it will come and if you still have uh, doubts about yourself and looking for for dependency and looking for help from others it's just very passive be full yourself and stay there and just say this if you are pretty and so good looking you sit in the coffee shop people will put their eyes on you and it becomes very easy to start a talk and if you have this beautiful happy energy in the surrounding people need help will come to you people will start talk naturally not to 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 search for something when you are not ready get yourself ready internally it hurts to not to have people to understand me and don't know what i can do to feel better about myself i don't know what to do you live your life it's their business why do we need to be credited or certified by other people right when you are strong, you do not need you do not need other people to say you are good. I finish a class and students happy. I am happy. I delivered my class. I know I am doing the right thing from the bottom of my heart. The school has different opinion. They they have different method of teaching. It's their business. I have done what I need to do. That is it. I make a good food, it's delicious, and they do not like it. They have different taste. I know I have made my effort. You can care only about what you put in. You cannot care about, you cannot manage what others think about you. excessive thinking <laughs> how can i deal with over excessive thinking it's starting to ruin my every day okay so when i have excessive thinking it's because okay i will say some of the scenario why i have excessive thinking i am in fear i am inside i do not see sunshine I see repetitive the same thing, and it's negative energy keep on schemu, uh, 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 keep on circulating, and I am 
in a status state. What makes me change? I go out to see sunshine, to see different scenery. I go have a walk. I do something that makes me happy. When I am in a low, for example, I open up, go live. I chat with other people. I know what makes me happy. I know what can change. I already found a certain way. So use that. And there are times it just cannot. Just cannot. Just cannot. I cannot switch it. And uh, I understand that these couple of days or this period of time is just not my time. One thing I make sure, I do not die. I do not kill myself. That's the, thing, the last resort I need to make sure. I know it will be over. Do I make any sense? There are things we cannot solve. Just understand, but make sure you stop the last resort. I've been having a hard time discovering who I truly am. I can't figure my true personality is mine, or it's just a character I use around other people. Do you have any advice? Maybe you have different personality. We all have different personality. Maybe we should explore each part of them and leave the part with appropriate personality. In front of people, maybe you are an active, passionate person. And maybe in, in, when you do science, you are totally in that. Find your own, do not limit yourself into one thing. Our personality could be many and it is more healthy that we have different aspects of our life. I am a composition of angel and evil. I know to depress a little bit of the evil, the bad thoughts. From time to time, those negative, that toxicity still come up. But I know to control it, right? Do I make any sense? We are all composed of many of us. So instead of focusing on what truly you are, you focus on what many aspects of you discover the many aspects of yourself. Do I make any sense? I have suffered all my life due to past negative life experience and finding it really hard to move forward and be happy. I always look back at past. There was uh, one person, he made a training. He said, you must think positively. People say, how I think positively? And he said, you must do this. Everyone go back home. He didn't teach me anything. Only one person said, got enlightened. He said, it's not about method. It's about the decision. You must forget those. You must live in the present. You must have the strong view that you live today. Because if you do not have it, if you still linger around in the past, you are in the past. There is no fixed way. We just need to understand and make a decision to live in today. Okay, it's 60 minutes mark. I am so, so, so happy to see you. You can keep on chat, helping each other. And uh, I am not answering question now and we can see the beautiful scenery.
around. Shall we all do a dancing or something? <laughs> oh, be silly. Oh, this is good. Uh, you know a lot of things we cannot control. Then do not control. What people chat in this channel. <laughs> a lot of things I cannot control. Then it's your thing. Hmm. Thank you very, very, very much. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. It is yesterday. Blue, blue rose. Yesterday. It is on the way. I think uh, Monday, oh, today is Sunday. Sunday they do not do, yes. <laughs> bye bye, friends. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do. Bye bye. Bye bye.